What up, guys? It's boy, Mr. Downtown Ray Mel. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Tuesday, November 14th, 2017. Delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash The Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R A Y M E L O. On Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Hugh Jackman pursues his dream of building a circus in the second trailer for the upcoming movie musical The Greatest Showman. The clip released Monday features Jackman as Barnum and Bailey's circus founder P.T. Barnum as he struggles and ultimately triumphs in helping to create the show business industry. In order to complete his dream, Jackman recruits a number of unique individuals to perform during his show, including a bearded woman who feels shunned by society. The trailer also features Michelle Williams, Rebecca Ferguson, Zac Efron, and Zendaya as two circus performers who begin to fall in love. Jackman says, no one ever made a difference by being like everybody else. The, re- the synopsis reads, inspired by the imagination of P.T. Barnum, The Greatest Showman is an original musical that celebrates the birth of show business and tells the story of a visionary who rose from nothing to create a spectacle that became a worldwide sensation. The Greatest Showman from director Michael Gracie is set to arrive in theaters on December 20th. Amazon says it has acquired the global television rights to the late J.R.R. Tolkien's classic The Lord of the Rings series for fantasy novels. Streaming Giant's planned multi-season series will explore new storylines set before The Fellowship of the Ring. The show is being produced by Amazon Studios in cooperation with the Tolkien Estate and Trust, Harper Collins and New Line Cinema, a division of Warner Bros. Entertainment. The deal includes a potential additional spin-off series, the party said in a press release. No casting has been announced yet. Sarah Tall Ugado, the head of scripted series at Amazon Studios, said in a statement Monday, The Lord of the Rings is a cultural phenomenon that has captured the imagination of generations of fans through literature and the big screen. We are honored to be working with the Tolkien Estate and Trust, Harper Collins, and New Line on this exciting collaboration for television, and are thrilled to be taking The Lord of the Rings fans on a new epic journey in Middle Earth. Matt Gosler, the representative for the Tolkien Estate and Trust in HarperCollins, said, We're delighted that Amazon, with its long-standing commitment to literature, is the home of the first ever multi-season television series for The Lord of the Rings. Sharon and the team at Amazon Studios have exceptional ideas to bring to the screen previously unexplored stories based on the on J.R.R. Tolkien's original writings. Filmmaker Peter Jackson previously adapted The Lord of the Rings books as a trilogy of big screen blockbusters. Jackson also helmed three movies based on Tolkien's The Hobbit, which is a prequel to The Lord of the Rings adventure. Ellen Page has been cast in Netflix's upcoming series based on comic book The Umbrella Academy from My Chemical Romance alum Gerald Way and Gabrielle Ba. The adaptation, Netflix says, follows a dysfunctional family of superheroes as they work together to solve their father's mysterious death while coming apart at the seams due to their divergent personalities and abilities, Entertainment Weekly reported. Paige will be portraying Vanya, the black sheep of the family who has no superpowers, who is struggling to find her own place in the world. Way is the co-executive producer on the project alongside Steve Blackman, who produced Fargo, and is executive producing and serving as a showrunner, Deadline reported. The pilot script was written by Jeremy Slater. The Umbrella Academy is set to premiere on Netflix with 10 episodes in 2018. TLC is cutting ties with Derek Diller following his series of tweets about Jazz Jennings. The network responded Saturday after Diller, the 28-year-old husband of Jill and Jessa County on-star Jill Duggar, made new remarks about Jennings, a 17-year-old transgender reality star. Uh, the... Uh, TLC, which airs Counting On, wrote on Twitter, We want to let our viewers know that Derek Dillard has not participated in Counting On for months, and the network has no plans to feature him in the future. Uh, They also said, uh, We want to reiterate that Derek's personal statements do not reflect the views of the network. TLC is proud to share the story of Jazz Jennings and her family, and will continue to do so. Fans have called out Dillard on social media after he criticized Jennings in her TLC series I Am Jazz in Tweets Thursday. He referred to Jennings, who was identified as female, with male pronouns in the post. 
the star wrote, I petty Jazz for those who take advantage of him in order to promote their agenda, including the parents who allowed these kind of decisions to be made by a child. It's sad that people would use a juvenile this way. Again, nothing against him, just unfortunate what's on TV these days. He also added, never bullied anyone, just said, I didn't agree with what was being propagated on TV. I expressed my views of what should be treated as reality. If I say I feel like I am a Nepali, that doesn't make me so. Uh, Dillard's previous disparaged, previously disparaged Jennings and her TV series in August, declaring in tweets that transgender is a myth. Jennings responded with a positive message at the time, saying she will keep sharing her story. Former couple Rob Kardashian and Black China celebrated daughter Dream's first birthday at separate events over the weekend. The 30-year-old keeping on with the Kardashian star lavished his baby girl with gifts on her official birthday Friday before Black China threw the toddler and mermaid-themed party Saturday. Kardashian gave fans a glimpse into a celebration for Dream in a series of photos on Twitter. He decorated his home with balloons reading Happy First Birthday Dream and gave his daughter two toy cars and a rocking horse. He captioned a picture of Dream, Love You Happy Baby, of Dream smiling while sitting in one of her new battery-powered cars. Black China put together an elaborate mermaid-themed bash for Dream the next day. The party featured a five-tier cake decorated with colorful mermaid scales and performers dressed as mermaids, according to Entertainment Tonight. Black China had shared a photo of Dream wearing a mermaid costume on her actual birthday. The picture shows the infant smiling and holding a rattle as she sits in a chair by the pool. Black China wrote, Happy First Birthday Dreaming. Kardashian has kept out of the spotlight since posing an explicit ran and naked photos of Black China in July. Black China, who split from Kardashian last year, filed a lawsuit against the star and his family in October. In a related story, Kim Kardashian celebrated her third child's impending birth at a floral-filled baby shower. The 37-year-old reality star was fiat by Khloe Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, and other family and friends Saturday ahead of the birth of baby number three with husband Kanye West. Kardashian has confirmed in September that she's expecting via surrogate. She took to Snapchat to document the bash, which featured gorgeous cherry blossom trees surrounded by fresh white flowers. The star said, Okay, guys, this is my baby shower for baby number three. It is a beautiful tea and cherry blossom forest. Chloe and Kylie, who are also reportedly expecting, shared on other posts from the party on social media. Chloe shared a picture of herself in a mini dress following rumors she's pregnant and expecting her first child with Tristan Thompson. She captioned a slideshow on Instagram, Cherry Blossoms and Teas for Baby Number 3, hashtag KKW. Model Chrissy Teigen and celebrity ha- hairstylist Jen Atkin were among the other guests on at the shower. Atkin posted a video on Instagram of Kardashian showing off her new fragrances at her party. She wrote, of course, in the middle of the shower, I put at Kim Kardashian to work to go get her new at KKW Beauty Fragrances to give us a preview. Love you, KKW, and can't wait for baby number three. Kardashian married West in Florence, Italy in May 2014. The couple already are parents to four-year-old daughter Northwest and 23-month-old son St. West, the latter of whom appeared in a new photo last week. Bachelor alum Emily Maynard is a mother of four. The 31-year-old Season 8 star confirmed in an Instagram post Monday that she's welcomed a baby boy with husband Tyler Johnson. Maynard shared sweet photos featuring Johnson, her three three older children, and infant son. She has parents to 12-year-old daughter Ricky with her late fiancé Ricky Hendrick and two sons, 2-year-old Jennings and 13-month-old son Gibson with Johnson. The star captioned on the slideshow, God is so good, my cup runneth over. Welcome new baby Johnson to the world. If anyone has any good boy names, send them my way. We need help. Maynard also included a video of herself and her baby boy in a hospital bed that Johnson originally shared Sunday on Instagram stories. He wrote at the time, number four, here. Maynard married Johnson in June 2014 following her appearances on The Bachelor Season 8 and The Bachelorette. She announced her fourth pregnancy in August, saying she was excited to welcome another child. The star said, seriously though, as scared as I am to have three under three, I'm so grateful God picked me to be the mommy to my kids, and we can't wait for number four to get here. Famed gossip columnist Lynn Smith, who covered the lives of the rich and famous in New York publications in decades, has died at the age of 94. Smith died Sunday inside her home in Manhattan. Her literary agent and friend Joni Evans confirmed to the New York Times. Smith, who was known as the Grand Dame of Dish 
and wrote about celebrities in her column titled Liz Smith in the New York Daily News from 1976 to 1981, the New York Newsday from 1991 to 1995, and then Newsday until 2005 with some overlap in the New York Post from 1995 to 2009. The column became syndicated in 70 newspapers and famously covered the divorce between Donald and Ivanka Trump in 1990. Smith also wrote for Ladies Home Journal, Vogue, Sports Illustrated, and served as the entertainment editor and cosmopolitan throughout her career. She appeared on the local Fox channel in New York, WMBC-TV, for 11 years in her show titled Live at Five, which earned her a Emmy in 1985 and wrote a 2000 memoir titled Natural Blonde that was followed by a cookbook in 2005, Dishing Great Dish and Dishes from America's Most Beloved Gossip Columnist. Smith is survived by several nieces and nephews. Ariel Winter was feeling lucky on her one-year anniversary with boyfriend Levi Menton. The 19-year-old actress dedicated a sweet Instagram post to the 30-year-old actor Saturday on their first anniversary as a couple. Modern Family star captioned photos of herself with Meaton. Happy one-year anniversary, my love. I'm the luckiest girl in the entire world. She gushed, thank you for being the incredible man you are and for making me the happiest I could ever imagine. Here's to many, many more. I love you, P.S. Your crazy butt is the only one who could ever make me agree to jump off a cliff at a waterfall. So yeah, I love you. Mayan also shared photos and reflected on his adventures with Winter on his own account. He wrote, I can't believe it's been a year. We've had adventures, gotten dolled up countless times, and traveled through three continents together. He confessed, I've never imagined I'd be this happy. I love you more than anything. Happy anniversary, peanut butter. Winter, who traveled to China with me in March, opened up about her great relationship with the actor in an interview with Us Weekly this month. She says, he's just the loveliest person. He loves me through thick and thin. He always, he's always telling me, no matter what I'm wearing, no matter what I'm doing, that I'm beautiful. Celebrity couple Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik shared a sweet kiss on their two-year anniversary. The 22-year-old model posted a clip Sunday on Instagram stories of herself smooching Malik on their second anniversary as a couple. The clip showed Hadid smiling, kissing Malik as she held a drink with a strawberry gar- garnish. The pair appeared to be outing their celebrating the occasion. Hadid captioned the post, two years with my favorite human. Hadid and Malik were first linked in November 2015 <coughs> and made their red carpet debut as a couple at the 2016 Met Gala. Malik told the Evening Standard in June that he and Hadid are a normal couple despite their fame. The former One Direction singer said, I can understand how it can look that you've got these two people in, in a power couple. That's not something I want to be part of. I'm with her because I like her. He added, we come home. We don't really talk about that crap. We just spend time together as a normal couple, cook food, watch TV, have a laugh. <coughs> Hadid is known for her modeling work with Tommy Hilfiger and will walk the 2017 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show with her sister Bella this month. Malik released his debut solo album, Mind of Mine, in March 2016. Demi Moore received birthday wishes from her three daughters, Rumor Scout and Tallulah Willis, on social media recently as the actress turned 55. Rumor, who's 29, wrote Saturday on her mother's birthday, Happy birthday to my glorious mama bear. I love you more than words can say. Um, Alongside a black and white photo of Moore posing with her daughters when they were young. She continued, Thank you for being my inspiration, my role model, and my best friend. I'm so lucky I get to do life with you. Scott also shared a throwback photo of Moore with short hair and muscles during her time starring in G.I. Jane. Scott wrote, So unbelievably grateful to even know, let her know be the child of such a strong, tender, intelligent, and fiercely compassionate woman. She continued, I am so obsessed with my mom. She truly is the coolest woman I know. Here, she is displaying both her um, ferocity, strength, and her gooby tenderino side. Scorpio Legendero 1111. Tallulah 23 paid tribute to her mother by sharing a headshot of a younger Moor and a photo of the 55-year-old posing while rocking an all-black outfit. Tallulah wrote, Happy 55th to this legend. Moore shares rumors Scott and Tallulah with ex-husband Bruce Willis. Moore or less made headlines with her daughters when she posed with her family while attending a wedding in June. Jessica Simpson says husband Eric Johnson popped the question to a Led Zeppelin song. The 37-year-old singer and designer posted a throwback photo Sunday while reflecting in an Instagram post on the seven-year anniversary of her engagement, which happened November 11th. 
black and white picture shows Simpson smiling as she showed off her engagement ring. The star appeared to be sitting on her porch while surrounded by rose petals. She wrote, Got engaged to Since I've Been Loving You by Led Zeppelin on November 11th at 11.11 a.m. Seven years ago. So loving this man is the easiest part of my life. Hashtag how the West was won. Simpson and Johnson got engaged after six months of dating and married in Montecito, California in July 2014. The pair who share five-year-old daughter Maxwell, Drew, and four-year-old son Ace Nutt uh, celebrate their seven-year anniversary as a couple in May. Simpson wrote at the time, seven years, two kids, and a whole lot of love later. Hashtag May 21st. Simpson previously told Access Hollywood that marrying Johnson shaped her identity more than motherhood, saying Eric is the best. Being married for me, it defines me so much more than even having kids. Michael Buble will return to the stage next year after taking a hiatus from music to care for his elder son. The 42-year-old Canadian singer announced Monday on social media that he will perform at two concerts in July 2018. Buble will visit Dublin on July 7th before headlining the British Summertime Music Festival in London on July 13th. The concerts will be his only shows in Ireland and the UK, respectfully. Um, the Stars team wrote on Facebook, Michael, Michael performs at the Crook Park in Dublin on Saturday, July 7th. This will be Michael's only Irish uh, Ireland show in 2018. Tickets will go on sale at 9 a.m. Friday, November 17th. The team also added on Twitter, Michael will be headlining London's at BST Hyde Park on Friday, July 13th. His only UK show in 2018. Tickets will go on sale at 9 a.m. Friday. Bobe announced in November 2016 that Noah, his four-year-old son with Luciana Lipiato, was diagnosed with cancer. Lipilato said at a press conference in April that Noah is now well and recovering from the disease. The actress said, My son's recovery is a long process, as you all know, and he has to continue to go to checkups. We are very, but we are very happy. We are looking forward to thinking about the future, to seeing our children grow. Bublé and Lipilato, who married in March 2011, also shared 20-month-old son Elias. Musician Bob Geldof is returning his Freedom of the City of Dublin award in protest of Myanmar leader Aung San Suu Kyi due to her handling of the Rohingya crisis. Geldof is handing back the award, which Shukaya also shared with, as the Myanmar leader faces criticism after months of violence has forced the mass exodus of Rohingya Muslims from the ranking state. So Kiyai has yet to speak publicly about the violence against the Muslim minority, more than 600,000 of whom have fled to Bangladesh in the past few months to escape violence. Geldof, the former singer of the Boomtown Rats and the creator of the charity concert Live Aid, said in the statement, her association with our name, shame, with our city, shames us all and we should have no truck with it, even by default. We honor her, now she appalls and shames us. Geldof, who handed back the award at City Hall in the Irish capital on Monday, also referred to Sukia as a killer. <clears throat> He said as he returned the award, CNN reported, Aung San Suu Kyi was extremely welcome to this city, and I was a participant to that. And it turns out that she's a killer, and I don't want to be on the same list as what the UN describes as a genocide. Geldof continued, I don't want to give up, uh, I don't want to give this up, I'm really proud of it, you know, and you know I get handed things by states and cities around the world, but I'm a dub Dubliner, and this means very much to me. I don't want to do it, but it's the most I can do and the least. Geldof received the Freedom of the City of Dublin Award in 2006, while Shuni Kai was honored with it in 1999 before receiving in person in 2012. Lord Mayor Michael May uh, Danacha of Dublin City Council criticized Geldof for the decision, stating, I find it ironic that he's making this gesture while proudly retaining his title as Knight Commander of the Order of, uh, Order of the British Empire, giving the shameful record of British imperialism across the globe. Shawn Mendes was the big winner at the MTV European Music Awards Sunday in London, taking home a leading four trophies. Mendes won awards in categories such as Biggest Fans, Best Song for There's Nothing Holding Me Back, Best Artist, and Best Canadian Act. The singer also performed There's, no, There's Nothing Holding Me Back on stage at the SSE Arena Wembley. The event featured performances from Global Icon Award winners, uh, U2, Best Hip Hop winner Eminem, who rapped his new single, Walk on Water, host Rita Ora, and others, including Cam uh, Camila Cabello, Liam Payne, The Killers, Travis Scott, Demi Lovato, David Guetta, Storm Z, 
and Kesha. Cabell won the EMA for Best Pop, performing her song Havana, with a fancy pull being projected onto the stage, complete with synchronized swimmers. Other notable winners include Kendrick Lamar winning Best Video for Humble, Ed Sheeran with Best Live, Best Rock going to Coldplay, 30 Seconds to Mars earning Best Alternative, and Zay Malik obtaining Best Look, and Dua Lipa taking home Best New Artist, among others. And finally, Taylor Swift has announced a new North American Stadium tour in support of her latest album, Reputation, for 2018. The tour is set to kick off May 8th in Glendale, Arizona at the University of Phoenix Stadium before wrapping up October 6th in Arlington, Texas at the AT&T Stadium. So we'll be performing notable cities such as Seattle, Denver, Chicago, Philadelphia, Cleveland, Toronto, Atlanta, Miami, New Orleans, and Houston, among other cities. Tickets go on sale for the general public starting December 13th with fans able to purchase tickets in advance through Taylor Swift Ticks by Ticketmaster's Verify Fan. Registration for the program is open until November 28th. A press release for the tour refers to the announced cities as part of the first round of dates, hinting that the singer will be touring beyond October and will perhaps head overseas. Reputation released Friday includes the hit singles Look What You Made Me Do, Ready For It, Gorgeous, and Call It What You Want. So it will be also be performing as part of the iHeartRadio's annual Jingle Ball on December 1st in Los Angeles at the Forum and on December 8th in New York at Madison Square Garden. And as your entertainment report for Tuesday, November 14th, 2017, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello, that's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at The Answer Report, or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for The Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.